Hi everyone. In this video we're going to look at how to download the latest version of the Windows 10 installation media from Microsoft's website. Before we start, there's a couple of things to bear in mind. First, to install Windows 10 on a PC you're going to need to have either a blank DVD and a DVD writer to burn the DVD or a blank 8 gig memory stick and some free hard disk space. Alternatively, if you just want to install Windows 10 as a virtual machine on VirtualBox, you just need the ISO file that is created for making the DVD using the media creation tool from Microsoft. So the steps involved will be first search for Windows 10 ISO download in your search engine, then click the link bringing you to the Microsoft Downloads page, and then click Download the Tool Now button. Once the download is complete, click on the downloaded file to start the media creation tool. OK, so I've typed in Windows 10 ISO download into my browser. And I'm going to click the first link that I get. And that brings me to Microsoft's uh, Windows 10 download page. So here, we just have to click on the Download Tool Now button. So I'm going to do that and then this will start saving the media creation tool. All I have to do then is click on it and then the creation tool starts to load up. Okay, and it takes a couple of minutes here to look at the settings of your your own machine because it's it's going to create a media based on windows that you have on your machine. Now you don't have to do that, but it it initially looks at your machine uh, to see what settings you have to see which version of windows to set up. But you can change that. So we'll just pause the video for a moment while we're waiting for this. OK, so you get um, just a license agreement. So I'd advise you just have a quick read through that. And then you can accept that if you're happy. And then just wait another couple of moments. OK, so at this point, we're being asked, do we want to upgrade this PC with Windows 10? or do we want to create installation media? And that's what we want to do. So we're going to click this selection here. Okay, and it's asking us do we want to use a USB flash drive uh, or create a DVD or just an ISO file so we can install Windows on a different PC. So that's what we want. So we're going to select Next. And then it's going to automatically choose whatever settings are recommended for use on this PC, but that may not be what you want. So you can untick that and then you can choose your language. Okay, so depending on where you are, I'm going to select United Kingdom. I'm based in Ireland, but United Kingdom is uh, fine for me. And then we're going to choose Windows 10. That's fine. And then which version? Do you want a 64-bit version? Do you want a 32-bit version or both? Now, if you select both, you're going to need a larger uh, dual-layer DVD. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with the 64-bit. But again, it depends on which version you want to install. But for this exercise, we'll use a 64-bit one. OK, and then you click Next. And then you choose which media to use. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to create an ISO file. But if you wanted to use a USB flash drive, um, just what you need to make sure is that you have at least 8 gigabytes of space on the flash drive, and also that whatever you have on that flash drive will be erased. So make sure that it's one that you've already backed up or that is already blank. Okay. And then, uh, in this case, I'm picking ISO file because that's what I want to use because I can use this in things like VirtualBox or I can burn a DVD which I can use to install Windows 10 onto another PC. So I'm going to click Next. And then it asks me where I want to save my ISO file to. So I have a folder here called Disk Images and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, you can put in a, another name if you want. I'm just going to put in October 2020. And I'm going to put 64-bit as well so that I know which version it is. OK, and then I go Save. And what it will start to do now is download the necessary files. So this can take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. So you know it could be anything from five minutes to half an hour or so. 
So I'm just going to pause the video and then once it's complete we'll continue on. Okay, so now it has to go through verifying the download, so this will take another couple of minutes. And now at this point, it's actually creating the ISO file. So it doesn't take too long, uh, but I'll just pause it for another moment. Okay, so at this uh, point the ISO file is ready to burn. So if you don't actually want to burn it, you don't need to do anything more here. And you could uh, open your DVD burner. Uh, one I particularly like is called CD Burner XP. Um, so I'm just going to click Finish here. And what it's doing now is just removing any temporary files that it created uh, in the process. So if you wanted to, you could actually use uh, CD Burner XP here to burn your ISO file. And all you have to do is uh, select Burn ISO Image. And go OK. And then it's going to ask me what ISO file I want to use. So I have to browse and go to the folder that I created. And there's my Windows 64 bit October 2020 ISO. So I can click Open. And then you can select the speed that you want to burn at. I usually pick a speed a bit slower than the max, uh, it just gives you a more reliable burn. So I usually speed pick something like 24 speed. Click OK and pop in your blank disk and off you go, burn your disk. OK, so I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and uh, that you found it useful in some way. Thank you for watching.